Good morning, manatees. How are you? Today's Friday, and it is the last day of the first nine weeks of your second grade. You have made history. You really have. This is the first time ever in our nation that we've had all students learning remotely for an entire marking period. So first of all, I want you to give yourself mad props. So praise to you for persevering, for embracing productive struggle. Every day hasn't been easy, has it? We've had some days that have been very challenging, both for you and for me. But we made it and we pushed through and we continue to learn and I feel really good that when you do come back to school, you will come back with a foundation, okay? I won't have to start all over from the very beginning of the year to make sure that you're doing what you need to do. So that in itself is a win, okay? So remember that and think about when you do get report cards you won't get them right away so monday we have no school because that's my day to do a lot of writing and tally up all the grades and look at things but you did get progress reports a while back to kind of give you an idea of where you stand and you've been communicating with me and i've been communicating with your parents to let you know what the expectation is and where we have to work harder and where we're doing great and we can keep just doing what we're doing, right? So when you get the report card though, it's important to remember how you are in the classroom may not be the same kind of learner you are when you're at home, okay? When you're at home, sometimes there's so many distractions that, that interrupt your thinking and your ability to focus that does not occur in the classroom or vice versa. Sometimes in the classroom, there's a lot of interruption with other teachers that come in and support or emails or people calling or movement in the classroom. Sometimes there's different things that occur in the classroom and some kids do better learning at home with their mom right by their side than when they're in the classroom. So it's different for each person and that's something you need to remember when you look at your grades and your report card. Right? When it comes to handwriting, nobody's doing it exactly to the expectation, okay? And that's something that until we get back in the classroom and do a lot of handwritten work, we won't be able to improve greatly. Now you can do it, which is why sometimes I say, go ahead and add a picture, upload a picture of your work so I can see your handwriting. But the notes that I would do right there on the spot in the classroom, I can't do through a computer. All right, so those are things we take into consideration. So I don't want anyone to feel sad if they didn't get an M in an area they thought they were mastering because mastery looks a little bit different when we look at the standards and the expectations for a regular school setting, okay? But the good news is I don't think I have very many L's anymore, which is limited progress. I think everybody has really begun to work hard and show that they're going to push through and keep on reading and writing and solving problems. So I'm very proud of you for that. I will see you at 9 a.m. We will have a math meet. We will discuss more problem solving just like we did yesterday, but we will not have any new assignments today. And the reason why is what I said during our class meet yesterday. I want you to have time to catch up finish all of your work, turn everything in, and then we can go ahead and say, draw a line in the sand, and next quarter is a do-over. Meaning you have a new clean slate, so if you weren't doing the things the way you really had hoped to, get another chance. And extra chances are always beneficial. All right, my friends, I will see you in our math meet at 9 a.m. and then again at 12, have a super, super great morning.